Hi guys, in this video, we are going to check out 10 best places to live in Texas. There aren't many locations in the US where stereotypes are portrayed, like Texas. The mention of the word brings up certain images of the location. The good news is that Texas is always an appealing state due to a favorable climate, low state tax, affordable housing, fascinating cities, and plenty of things to do. Country music, western hats, barbecues, ranches, trucks, horseback riding, the night sky is starry and bright, and of course the Dallas Cowboys. We made our list based on the facts, we also considered the opinions of locals. The towns, cities, and suburbs made it on our list of the 10 best places to live in Texas. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for more videos. We hope you like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below. Lubbock The city of Lubbock, where you can locate Texas Tech University. The largest employer in the city, with a population of 240,000 people. With a median household income of $50,000. The majority of residents also work for the Lubbock Independent School District and the Covenant Health System. The median home value is $180,000, and the average rent is $660. The town has a high commute time of at least 60 minutes, but has an efficient public transportation system. Locals are very conservative, yet, the nightlife itself is excellent, with lots of hot spots. Outdoor enthusiasts may feel a bit limited. For those looking to expand their careers and education, it is rare to find better place that meet the requirements. Denton If you're looking to move, one of the places you should look is Denton. Education is the best thing within Texas. The state of Texas is booming, and Denton wants not to be left in the dust. There are two universities here, the University of Texas, and Texas Women's University, with the 125,000 inhabitants, making it the town of universities. There's a flourishing arts and culture scene. It is among many of the largest, vibrant, culturally diverse and progressive neighborhoods in Texas. A majority of residents are entrepreneurs, employed in technology or the creative field. The current median house price is $265,000, and the average rent is $1,053. Did we mention it was listed in the top 10 best cities to live in America? That's right. Houston Houston has earned a name for its role as a space shuttle launch site, but it has more than that. This economic powerhouse has long been praised as the top job creator in the U.S. and boasts an impressive 26 Fortune 500 companies. Still, a paycheck in this city with 2.3 million people is more than anywhere in the U.S., with a median household income of $52,000. Healthcare is an important point, the city is home to a best medical center, than the downtown area of Dallas. With a flourishing food and entertainment scene. It's a city that boasts an appealing median home value of $235,000, and the average rent is $1,250. The city is one of the most appealing cities of America. College Station It's tucked somewhere in central Texas, 100 miles from Houston, and Dallas located around 200 miles to the north. The town of 100,000 got its name because of the renowned Texas A&M University, one of the largest universities in America. The city has received criticism for its small town appearance, however, that is precisely the feeling that landed it in the best places to live. As you might expect the living cost is affordable, but the median household income is $45,000, which is below the national average. Texas is usually inexpensive, and if you're looking to save money and enjoy a smaller town vibe, then you'll enjoy College Station. The average cost for a home is less than $280,000, and the average rent is $720. Residents can take advantage of the innovative bicycle, pedestrian, and greenways. Austin 
It's rare to see big cities on the top of the best places to live, usually, the suburbs get the glory. Austin took Denver off its place, with its high appeal. In addition, a rise in the capital's median wage that is now $71,000, has contributed to the favorable ranking, and its low unemployment rate that is hovering around 3%. It's a cities for youngsters and millennials. This naturally means that the nightlife is vibrant and lively, that's exactly what you'll get. Amazingly, population remain under the 1 million mark. The homes are on the market for an average of $600,000, and the average rent is $1,550. Round Rock The small paradise of 140,000 residents is one of the best areas to reside. In addition, Round Rock is close to all the thrill and excitement of Austin. The unemployment rates are quite low, and every person you meet appears to have a degree in engineering somehow. Dell's headquarters are located here, and the median household income is $82,000. The majority of residents own their own homes, with a median home value of $482,000. However, if you're looking to rent a property, it is currently hovering around the $1,375 mark. The schools are excellent and always score high, and the region is home to numerous restaurants and cafes. There's plenty to do in the outdoors, trails, numerous parks, countless recreation, and sports options. Round Rock is a dream. An American dream. Richardson If you are looking to start a family in Texas, you need to think about Richardson. It is a well-run and well-managed suburb that has 120,000 residents. Nearly half of adults hold an undergraduate degree. The average household earns an average of $85,000 per year, the cost of living is less than the majority of cities. The median home value is $326,000, and the average rent is $1,490. The crime rate is not a thing in these parts, and it's simple to understand why it's ranked on the best cities to live in America. The city is nestled within the outskirts of Dallas, which means Richardson residents can enjoy the advantages of both economic possibilities and the cultural amenities offered by the city of Dallas. ULES It considers itself to be an urban center, with a small town feel. The population of 53,000 is enough to make it mid-sized city. The town is located in the middle of Dallas, Fort Worth, and it's one of Texas's most beautiful cities to live. Like other parts of the state, Euless is pretty diverse. Indeed, most diverse public high schools are located here. It's Trinity High School, a highly regarded school in academics, athletics and specialized classes, perfect for families. Euless offers an 18-hole championship golf course. Additionally, there's an aquatic park, and outdoor enthusiasts will enjoy 300 acres of green space. The unemployment rate is only 4.1%, and the median household income is $65,000. A typical house can be purchased for $309,000, and the average rent is $1,200. Plano the most recent statistics rank Plano extremely well, with the Woodlands. It's an extremely multicultural town, and has highly rated schools. Given how friendly the town is, it won't take the new residents long to get used to their surroundings. The median household income is $95,000, with a total population of 285,000, and has one of the lowest crime rate in Texas, in addition to one of the lowest tax rates. The city is regarded as a fantastic place to do business, and it lives up to its claim. A series of office buildings are visible in its Texan sky. The median home value is $445,000, and the average rent is $1,550. The Woodlands This shouldn't come as any surprise, it's one of Houston's most luxurious suburb, and the area is truly in a league of its own. The town of 105,000 inhabitants has enough luxurious restaurants, shopping malls, 
concerts, and other events, making it a popular location on its own. It is also an extremely beautiful location where you could live in dense greenery, there's a reason why they call it the woodlands. The crime rate is incredibly low. The median household income is $122,000, but the cost of living may be a little high. Many would consider the $445,000 median house value to be a bargain, and the average rent is $1,280. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for more videos. We hope you liked this video and share your thoughts in the comments below.